So which party is better? There's only one way to find it out. Election! Election 2010. The three party leaders, the silly debate. David Cameron. Here we are in Birmingham. This was known as the city of tragedy. And I think, actually, nothing ever happens. Nothing. We've got to rebuild. It's not working. Gordon Brown and David Cameron just want to deny it as a problem and pretend that somehow it'll go away. It won't. Because I'll tell you who benefits from this layer of people who've been living here for years and years and years in the shadows of our society. It's the nasty criminal gangs, single parents, who exploit them, exploit us, and, and, and create crime in our communities. Birmingham is in such a complete mess. It just doesn't work. We're not going to get the investment and the wealth that we need. I think we do need to do something. You can't, there's no money. I've gone over my overdraft limit. I cannot get a loan. Haven't saved. Cut the defence budget. Now, I'd love to make it all free, but... We must move on to another question. What will your party do to help families and others, and what hope is there for anybody? Now, let me answer this question directly. No life on the dole. Stop wasting money. You cannot go on carrying on taking your benefits. Let's move on to a second question. It's from Adina Wright, please. What would you do about taxes? If you were elected... What would you do about taxes? Let me tell you what I would do. Hit the lowest paid the hardest. Hit some of the poorest people in the country. That, I think, would start to get this under control. It sounds draconian. But... On this issue of tax, for families, we are saying we like tax. We will keep tax. But what we've said is let's try and stop the lowest paid people. We believe there needs to be a cap. You're considered a target. That's one of the savings that we're being upfront and frank about. There are going to have to be cuts. The changes we're making would hit low-income families. And something else we need to do is this. Put up tax something like 178 times. That's not popular, but it is the right thing to do. Grotesquely unfair. I mean, make it fair. And let me say this. I believe in this country that if you work hard and you save money and you try and pay down your mortgage on a family home, you should be able to give it to the tax man when you die. Inheritance tax, pass it on to your children not working. It's the most natural human instinct of all. Well, I have to say, David Cameron's the most creative uh, justification I've ever heard. This area used to be full of businesses that shut down, sold off and gone abroad. I want to know how you propose to rebuild the country. We need change. Vast regional bureaucracies paying themselves huge sums of money, whatever they do, to keep more of their profits even worse. Your national insurance would not be going on hospitals and schools and police officers they would be going to Greece, a desperate state. But I believe also that if you earn £20,000 or over, that's just not acceptable. You're considered rich. You're considered a target for the government. And that's why we say stop the jobs next year employing people with a deficit.